Hi there, it's Kaya from Kachiko Crafts and today I am back as a guest designer for Newton's new design and I have a spring greetings card for you. So, let's do it! So first we will stamp out our images on the wand watercolor paper. I will use this basket from Basket of Wishes stamp set and I decided to use this one that has flowers in it because I wanted to make a spring card and I will also use three additional flowers and a bird. I will just start coloring with my zigs. First I will use these two colors because I don't own every color of zig marker and I will just make my own. I wanted to have this lime green color, that's why I used lemon yellow color and pale green. Now I already moved on to the coloring of the actual basket and you can see that I'm building the color because I want to have shadows even though you won't be able to see it really good in the end because I will add these lines of the basket because I wanted some more texture but yeah I will just color these flowers in now I'm using bright yellow here and I will just color three flowers in the bouquet and then I will also color one of the additional three flowers in every color so now I'm using light carmine and as already said I will also color one of the three flowers in this color and for the last color um, of the flowers I decided to go with the color coral lilac I found that this color is really cute and lovely and really girly but I like it I really like purple color so that's something new you learn about me today <laughs> I will just finish this coloring off with coloring of this little birdie and as said already I will just draw some details and add structure with my mid brown color. I will finish it off with light blue color and I will color in this background and that will be it for coloring. As you can see I already prepared my card base and I have this light blue color of cardstock here that I will use and I will just first make a hill where our basket will be standing on and as you can see the blues match so I use the right color of blue zig marker and now I want to have these clouds and I will use this new border uh, set from Newton's Nuke that's called Sky Borders and I will just cut it two times and it was a big too big so I will just go ahead and trim it down for about, I don't know, a centimeter or so. And you will see now it's a lot better because it's not so down towards our ground. I will just stamp my sentiment. I will help myself with Misty because I want to make sure that I will have a really good impression of the sentiment. And as you can see, we will start positioning now. I will use my double sided tape to tape everything in place and as you can see I won't tape this down towards the top but I will leave a stripe of color there but I will just cover it up with the second cloud piece and I didn't measure it right so I will just take my scissors and I will trim it down. So now we have our clouds, I will also glue down my ground. Uh, and of course we also need to position our basket for this I will use my double sided foam rectangles and I will position it on my heel and for my flowers I will use my multimedia mat because this is quite a small image and I want to make sure it stays there and multimedia mat is great for this because it's really a strong adhesive and I will just put uh, this small square foam piece on my bird and I will pop it up. And the last part of gluing everything together is to put this scene on our card base. I will just line everything up and press it down and that's how it will look like. I will just add some details. I will use my white gel pen and I will just draw this full stitching on my blue piece. It's not actually seen really good here on the video, but in real life it's seen really good. 
and for the last touch I will use my Wink of Stella clear marker and this will add some detail. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video tutorial please give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time on Newton's new blog. Bye bye!